um, it, the constant day-to-day -day using and then it not working anymore, literally. Like, it just, you know, I was putting more and more fear and anxiety into my, you know, it, it sort of did the reverse on me. I mean, it was doing to me what I was trying to get away from. And, and it just, the, no matter how much I was using, nothing was fixing any of, of the stuff going on in, inside. So, um, so then it was either, you know, kill myself or try one more time to see if I could get out and, and try, to, try to live. Going through, you know, the, the playing each song and going through it and, and then hearing his voice, you know, oh, do it again. And, and just constantly, it was sort of like getting worn down and worn down and worn down. And then I really didn't know what was going on behind that window, that glass yeah. where he was until years later, you know, oh, yeah. until um, I was working on something and the tech, Chris, who talks about yeah. it, who was there, said, well, this is what was going on. And, and, and I was like, oh my God, you know, I've been walking around with all this stuff around it for so long, not knowing that it was actually something that was planned before I even walked in there. Um, basically, I, you know, I didn't, I don't know, you know, I don't have any resentment towards her or, you know, but at, at the beginning when it all happened and, and I was using and I was out there, I was, of course, yeah, you know, all my anger was, was directed that way and, and, it, and it, then it got broader, you know, it was like, the whole industry is crap, yeah. you know, and, and I would just <laughs> keep working on that and keep that going so I could keep the whole cycle of, of, of hating this and hating this and then using, you know. Self-hatred. Right. You know. Um, as I was telling the story, you know, I was looking at the, all the footage and David would say, well, well, what's going on here? And I'd explain, the, you know, what was happening and then I would explain kind of like maybe something around that or, well, this thing happened the night before, so that's why Courtney's arm's in a cast and, you know, or, or whatever, you know, and then, then it would just spin into, you know, why, why, you know, why are you so, um, you know, why do you look so sick on the plane here? And I was like, well, I was actually taking heroin going into Canada, you know, and, and then it would, the story would just unravel and, you know, I, I couldn't really not add the parts that were difficult because that's, that's, you know, that was this, the real, what was going on.